I warmly greet the participants of the 6th World Congress of Families as you have assembled to discuss the protection of traditional family values. Today, ever fewer people regard the family as of paramount importance. We see the increased number of abortions of disintegrated families and point to the aggressive propaganda of sexual education for children and the protection of non-traditional orientations by, by some states. All these manifestations are links in the same chain, a result of the changed coordinate system upheld by the modern man and a consequence of the abandoned traditional religious, religious imperatives of behavior. Those who neglect religious ethics hold as alien the notions of responsibility before God and neighbors, self-restriction and self-sacrifice, without which the family life is unthinkable. The family is seen by many of our contemporaries as only a serious, serious obstacle on the way of self-indulgence comfort and life for one's own self. However, getting rid of the need for selfless service of one's neighbors, an egoistic person actually find oneself removed from the true happiness, which is brought by the ability to love someone else apart from oneself and to be loved. A society in which adherence to traditional family values are forced to defend their rights and defend themselves against numerous attacks by apologists of hedonism and consumerism is deeply affected by illness and doomed to physical degeneration and extinction. Today you have gathered together at those who struggle for the value of family life created by voluntary union of men and women who advocate their right to raise your children in conformity with your own moral convictions and your faith and who seek to leave a better world to the progeny. The Congress meetings become even more important, not in the least because among its participants are many socially active people who form public opinion, representatives of religious and academic circles, the business community, and the mass media. I hope that, that the ideas expressed by the Congress will spread beyond this audience and will bring good fruits. Ilarion Metropolitan, Chairman of the Moscow Patriarchate, Department for External Church Relations. Thank you. Thank you very much.